So next, SEO is vital, whether you're writing an article or optimizing your Google Ad Grant account. In this next demo, Sarah Simones, head of strategy and training at Cause Inspired Media, will show you how you can use Google's built-in free keyword planner tool to efficiently research new keywords. Well, I am Sarah, I'm the head of strategy and training at Cause Inspired. Cause Inspired is a full service digital marketing agency designed specifically for nonprofits. We run ads, build websites, but most importantly of all, we're known for Google ad grant management. In line with Google Ad Grant Management um, and all Google Ads Management, I wanted to talk to you today about Google's free keyword research tools. So whether you're looking for ways to advance your Google search ads or optimize your website content, this is the tool for you. So first, why should you care about keyword research? For SEO purposes, such as content writing for your website, keyword research really ensures that you're spending your time writing what people are searching for. Um, it hurts to invest a lot of time into a topic that no one is searching for. So you can always make sure that your topics are less competitive and optimized for seasonal search volume as well with these tools. For Google Ads, things are a little bit more cut and dry. At a baseline, you just have to do keyword research to be successful in Google Ads. So this way, you know which keywords are most affordable, which ones have the most search volume, and which ones are just worth your time. You can also reverse engineer these tools so you can actually optimize your content on your website for keywords that you want to rank well for in Google Ads. So why would I recommend Google Ads as keyword research tool? Three reasons. The first is that it's free, uh, so anyone can access it. All you need is a Google Ads account. The second is that it is easy to use. You can copy and paste directly from it. And then the last part is that it's really accessible. All you really need to give your team members are read level permissions in your account, so they don't even have to be able to make any changes. All right, so let's go ahead and give it a test. There we go. And this is what it looks like. If you already have a Google Ads account, you can access your keyword planner by going to tools and settings in the top right here. And it is all the way over here in the left in the planning section. And you get two options. The first option is to discover new keywords. That's where we're going to start today. And let's say I'm a nonprofit and I'm prepping for my annual appeal or end of year giving, and I want to find some good keywords centering end of year giving. I'm going to go ahead and plug that in and select get results. Immediately, you'll see a plethora of keywords have come up. It looks like 35 total keywords here. And Google is giving us some good initial information. One, here's how, uh, how many average monthly searches we have. Two, here's our three-month change. Is it going to increase in the next three months or are we going to plan for a decrease? What does the year-over-year -year change look like? How is our competition? And then what's the cheapest bid on these keywords? What's the highest bid on these keywords? So immediately I can see that my keyword end of your giving, it's got about 880 searches a month. I know that like with a 5% click through rate, that's really not going to be enough. So maybe I want to select some other keywords here. Maybe I want to broaden my search and immediately I can see Google suggesting I try bidding on charitable giving. I'm going to add that in, get my results. And now I've got 1,184 keywords available to use. And I can actually just select the ones here that I think are really trendy. Donor advice funds is really trendy. So perhaps I could write a blog about how you could set up a donor advice fund for my nonprofit. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and select them in that checkbox and copy them. You can paste that into a Google Sheet, a Google Doc, um, share it in an email, or you can select the next option here, which is get search volume and forecast. Paste those keywords right in, select get started. And now you have your keyword uh, forecasts uh, for search volume. You can actually download this report in the top right here if you want to pass it along to any stakeholders on your team or your team members in general. And this shows your average monthly searches, your three-month change, and your year-over-year -year change as well. So quick review. One, you can use discover new keywords. Two, simply discover new keywords. Um, you can actually insert your landing page directly into it, or you can just start off with some keywords that you're interested in. Uh, and then the other section is really used to help you get search volume uh, for your existing keywords. So you can figure out if what you are bidding on or what you're writing about is being searched or is trendy. And to wrap it up here, you can actually get started just by creating a Google Ads account at ads.google.com. Or if you're a qualifying nonprofit, 501c3, you can sign up for a Google Ad Grant at google.com slash grants or through a certified professional agency uh, like Cause Inspired.